While Idaho Fish and Game Conservation Educator Greg Lazinski was working with the Slovak Republic on bear issues, his colleague, Project Wild Coordinator Lori Adams, was invited to travel halfway around the world to Japan to train educators on how to teach wildlife concepts. Her trip was sponsored and paid for by the Parks and Recreation Foundation in Japan, with additional funding by the Nagoya Greenery Foundation, where Lori was asked to deliver a keynote address at an environmental forum. And then we also did a four-hour session for um, people that work for the Nagoya, Nagoya Greenery Foundation. You know, Japan invited me and they treated me like royalty. But almost 200 people joined that uh, workshop. It was great. Everybody enjoyed. So how did this come about? Hiroshi Karahari is the link. For the past 10 years, he has been the Project Wild Coordinator for all of Japan. Hiroshi met Lori at an international conference in Michigan and was intrigued by her take on early childhood education. Then Lori invited him to Idaho to attend one of her workshops. As they say, the rest is history. And um, as we were talking, somebody said, yeah, maybe maybe you should go to Japan. And I thought, yeah, not in a million years. And um, and Hiroshi and I kept in contact through email. And then um, before last year's uh, conference, uh, Hiroshi had invited me for sure to come to Japan. Lori was the first to create a comprehensive educator's guide for Project Wild, targeted at early learners, kids from preschool through the second grade. Each page explains a wildlife concept and includes a lesson plan, activities, songs, art projects, and even a snack that relates to the topic. Other resources are listed along with an explanation on how it all correlates with Idaho education standards. So. I want to know the American way how to teach or how to do that. So Lori yeah, invited me to come to Idaho. Hiroshi observed how Lori ran a teacher's workshop and even stepped in to help when it came to an explanation of an ancient Japanese art form. Kyo means fish. Kyo um, means Kyo. Kyo means fish. Tak means stone printing. I don't know. Don't Hiroshi plans to introduce early learner methods in Japan this year. So the idea is to take his observations from Idaho and bring Lori and her crazy energy to the other side of the world to kick it off. I like this atmosphere, you know that. She's making this atmosphere very cheerful and it's easy to learn or it's kind of, you know, interesting and happy. Project Wild coordinator Lori Adams was invited to Japan by the Nagoya Greenery Foundation to give the keynote address at an environmental forum called GreenFest, but that was just the start. Six Project Wild workshops in four different Japanese cities were set up for educators by the Parks and Recreation Foundation in Japan. You know, they, they have serrated underneath their beaks, mm -hmm. and so it helps them to tail. So the first step was to get the Wild About Early Learners translated to Japanese. Hiroshi did a fantastic job uh, uh, translating the guide and, uh, you know, the, the Japanese educators I know are using it because they're posting the pictures on Facebook of even activities we did not do in the workshop. So, so, so they're reading the guide and they're using the materials. Hiroshi Karahari is the Project Wild coordinator for all of Japan. He was also the translator for the workshops. Hi, welcome everybody to Idaho Wild Belt Early Learners. I'm very happy to be in Japan. Hello, everyone. I guess I was most surprised by how passionate the educators were and how much they wanted to be involved and immersed in this whole program. Uh, uh, even even though we couldn't speak the same language, we had great connection. Yes, 
Project Wild's mantra is to teach kids how to think, not what to think. Instead of showing them what's under the rock, let them discover what's under the rock, and it's more excitement. It's just like us being able to solve a problem. It really gives them satisfaction, and we, like we said, empowerment. It was a whirlwind with 15-hour days teaching educators from university professors to primary school teachers in a different culture. And I, I was dead tired trying to fit in and do the right things, bow when I was supposed to. <laughs> But despite all the differences in culture, nature connects us. It felt like we were we were all one, and um, I, I mean, at times I want I got choked up watching watching how excited they were and and how much it meant to them that I was there. See, everybody feel the passion from Lori. Uh, she's she's always smiling and. Yeah, everybody feels, everybody loves Lori, it's true, and definitely she empowered us. Yeah, we, we got lots of power, thank you.